Hi everyone, this is Deanna the Organized Miss and this is the cleanest spot on my desk. All of this is a disaster area, but I've been having so much fun because I have been um, challenging myself to make um, ephemera and a junk journal from all scraps. So recycle pieces. And I pulled out my, my black and white bin and it's literally scraps. I did have a few uh, larger size pieces, but not a lot. Maybe you can tell I, I put some in here in case I wanted to use them. And I just have been trying to use those things. So I had made some kind of Franken paper about a week or so ago, but I really felt like I just wanted to jump into this black and white and just really challenge myself and I feel like I did so I I decided to put together a little junk journal and before I did that I thought I would show you what I did here and but I've sewn it but I just haven't put all the embellishments in yet because I just wanted to show you this I've been saving so I've been saving things to make things with so they have just grown and I finally just said I, I need to make this stuff or rack it to someone um, so I just started kind of finding pieces that I could use so this is just a little envelope tuck spot here and this was just a piece of one of the it's it's a little thicker than paper it's not quite cardstock but I just turned it into a journaling card so I only allowed to myself to use uh, very minimal new things so the stickers I didn't purchase them. I had them, but I just made myself use them. Um, so they weren't in the recycle bin. But I was just, I had so much fun with this. So again, any, the smallest scraps I could find. And these, uh, some of these were, I mean, not some, they were already cut out, these little shapes. I had used my Cricut for something. And so that's why I had a lot of the papers that were just pieces left over. So I pulled out some of the whatevers. If they were in the bucket, I tried to find a way to use it. This was um, packaging. If I could use packaging, I did. So I had some of this. And so as you can see, I've been very sparingly cutting it off. And um, so I made little, I don't know what the word for that is when you do a background. But anyway, it's a little tag. I haven't decided what color I'm going to use with that, but I think maybe uh, red because m this whole thing is black and white with a couple of red things in it. Um, so this was a uh, this was a gift bag, and I loved it so much I cut it up, and I had used it for something else. So these were just a couple of the pieces left, and um, this was um, a little thing of sticky notes that I got at like a Goodwill and I just not used them and I finally just made myself. So I just, I just did. I made several little, um, from pieces of leftover cardstock. This was actually a journaling card in something that I just thought that would be great. But the rest, this was all recycled as part of that, um, bag again. And then I have a little punch but some sheet music I was gifted a, a lot of it so <laughs> I'll have sheet music in my things for days um, just I thought I'd make this into a pocket or something um, this was just so at some point quite some time ago I had cut out shapes for um, some little embellishments that I had done for church so that was a year and a half ago I know when I made them. Um, and so I had saved the out the the round here because I thought it looked cool and I thought I would use it someday. So a year and a half later, I just said, do it. So I just found some scrap paper and I thought that would make a little little tuck or a, a journaling card or something. I just collaged it on, just layered it with some of those papers. Um, and here, 
when I was first trying to learn how to make stickers with my Cricut, I didn't know what I was doing. So this is a, I flattened what was supposed to cut out the hearts and instead, so I have several of these. I have a whole page full actually of this. So I just said, use it. I, I didn't have the heart to throw it away. It's one of my first, my first attempts. So I just, this might be a bookmark. I don't know. Another piece of that bag, just a scrap. I think this will probably be, I don't know what it'll be. I was thinking it could be a little tuck. It could go in something. Uh, I might need to back it with something, but I just love it. This, again, I just layered up some. So this came from the same material that I used to make the cover. I'd been gifted this from my sister and I had made her a little book last year or something. I think it was for her birthday, about a year ago. So I still had some of that material left. So I just cut one of the flowers off and then I layered it. Okay, so this little white thing was not new. I had bought these about a, I don't know, a week or so ago because I thought they were cute. And then I realized I could use that. So I'm not going to beat myself up for putting a new thing on, but it was in my stash. I didn't buy it for this project. Um, I did get these because they were super cute. About a week or so ago, uh, I was at Target and I thought I'm definitely going to use these. I don't know what for. And then I decided I could put this in the back of the book with this. So this paper, the negative that I had cut out um, a heart, a flower. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to use this. So this was packaging and this was the plastic around the packaging and I turned it into a little shaker card. And these little hearts I've had probably 15 years. I had them from when my daughter was little and I still have them and I'm making myself use this stuff. So I thought it would be kind of fun. I gonna put it in there and I'm gonna put this in the back so I'll, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with these stuff these stuff with these things um, here in a minute I just wanted to show you just with all the things this was something that I'd cut out for a different project and I had leftover pieces so I just layered it again I haven't picked out the string that's gonna go with that here's another envelope that I uh, just turned into um, a little pocket and some more of that sheet music that I had cut out had left over and I just collaged it on there and added a stick. Oh, you can tell this was even, um, I don't know, cricket cardstock, something else I'd cut out and, uh, you know, I liked it. So it'll make a good little journaling spot. And this was a piece of that envelope I cut off, but I thought it would make a good little, good little tuck for this. I've had these stickers for a while. I just need to use them. So I thought that would be kind of fun somewhere. And another piece of this had cut out. It was just, I thought, I'll just back it with another piece of scrap paper. So I have a little bit of red, but not much that I'm putting in this book. So for the cover, this was that material that my sister had given me. And it was just all that was left of it. And then I had a couple of some cardstock and I, it was kind of folded over. Like, I think I was going to make a card out of it or something. So I cut it in half and I used it for the front and the back. And then I just stitched it on all the way around. It's a pocket size. So the full sheet of paper and I cut it in half and folded it. So this is a little bigger than a pocket size, but I thought that would be perfect. And then I, I haven't really done anything else I did lined the inside of that cardstock with some paper that matched. So this is the only piece of paper that was not a scrap. It was a full size piece of paper, but it, again, from my stash, it was from the same kit that I've had for almost two years now and not, I haven't used. So I felt okay with cutting a piece down and I thought I would use the extra to embellish the pages. Um, and then I just have, which is typically, this is not my style. I like to do the real vintage -y, junk journal-y looking recycled art, but I thought, you know, I can really try to step out of my comfort zone and do something with my recycled pieces. So the paper is not recycled. That's just what I had. Um, cardstock. Um, I've had this for quite a while. I have a couple of these from a dinner that I'd gone to and I saved them. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. They were the centerpiece decorations or something. I'm like, they were just going to throw them away. I'm like, I can use that. Um, I did get these uh, doilies because I knew I wanted to use them for Valentine's. So I had gotten those last week when I got this. So I said, I'm going to use it. So this one is also not, um, not recycled. I mean, you know, it was new. And then all the pages I haven't decorated yet. Here's a, just a piece of that paper. And uh, I just, I thought that would be fun in here. And that is it. I haven't, oh, here's the other half. I haven't decorated the pages yet because I wanted to get on here and um, show you these before I actually attach them to the page. So um, I'm really glad that I did. Oh, it, this is how it started. These were pieces, as you can see, that had the circles kind of cut out of them. So then I just cut them and layered them up with some of the, the sheet music pieces and uh, some of the flowers I hope punched out of some of the other pieces and turn these into little flowers, which that's how it started. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I need to use this stuff or throw it away. And, um, and then I just kept last couple nights. That's what I've done. And I can't sleep. <laughs> I make crafts. Um, I don't know if these will end up in the book. I thought maybe I could turn this into, um, a paper clip? We'll see. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to get kind of full. So I'm going to decorate this and I'll, I hope I'll come back for a flip through on here. But I just was so excited. I wanted to kind of document this and, and um, kind of um, kind of show you, anybody else, how it is completely possible to use uh, scraps. Literally, these were scraps that I layered on top of other things or junk mail. Like I said, there's a couple of new things, but I could have, I wouldn't have even had to use these, this and this, and I wouldn't have had to use these, and I could have still, but I just thought I added something. So I will, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all of my ephemera in here, and you know, I then I had to go dig out all the bows, the ribbons, because I, I couldn't decide what to use. So I have just I kind of try to spread things out and leave some white space not that I think necessarily that you can write on these pages because of all the stuff but she could write on little cards and notes and then tape them or glue them you know glue them or whatever inside so I did you know leave some room for that and uh, I'm gonna rethink using this ribbon next time in such tiny holes it was it was no fun to thread in there. But I just want to use a, a couple different kinds. So I put this little, I decided to do that on there. So paper clips, you could use them in the book or, or something else. I don't know. And after the first one, I said, we'll just staple it. So much easier. And this is center. I thought that was cute. I made another paper clip just to go on there. So I feel pretty, pretty pleased with how this turned out. And uh, most of this could be a bookmark, I think, is what I thought that could be. Um, most, uh, so uh, this ribbon I probably had for about two years. Yeah, a little, around two years, maybe a little more. My favorite place to shop is, is the Goodwill or the Salvation Army or thrift stores, um, antique stores. Sometimes you can find things there. Sometimes they're a little pricier, but it has to be something special for me to to pay that. But I love to buy craft items. Um, usually I can, you know, people get rid of them when they don't use them. So that's when I like, to, I like to pick them up. If I buy them at the store, I try to get them on sale. So I have all of these. I really want to find a way to use this. It's so pretty. But it's kind of, um, it's just like a really strong canvas or denim or something. I, uh, 
I'd have to actually glue it on something and I wanted to use it for a paper clip or um, you know on the tags but maybe the next project and then just decided to kind of paper clip this one on here I had these I was just laying on my desk with this one over here actually so I thought that would be cute And then the, in the back here, I just added the little, um, maybe maybe I need to put a little piece of ribbon on there to slide that out. I'm not sure how I'd attach it because I don't, I don't want to staple it and I don't know that maybe I could hot glue it. I'm not sure. We'll see. But I had a lot of fun with this. These didn't actually make it in, in the project, but they were kind of my inspiration, which got me started. So I think the last thing I need to do is figure out how to you know, what I'm going to do to hold that. I did have this, and I thought maybe I could, you know, do a, what is that stuff called? You know, the stretchy elastic. Um, you know, I could run a little, run that through there and just kind of um, let it go. Then you could slide it off and on. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure how that it's gonna look I mean I didn't plan that out this is the one thing I sometimes do at the end and I end up kind of you know stitching it on there but that's not an option now so I'm not sure I mean I guess you know it's cute just like this on it well you can't see that well I had a lot of fun so thanks for letting me uh, share this project with you and uh, I challenge you to think about your scraps and things in kind of a different way and really kind of challenge yourself to use them up in kind of a project where and you know as much as you can without any new things like I said I, I used the this was new these little flower buttons were new and this bag back there everything else recycled oh the paper I guess <clears throat> so um, thanks for thanks for joining me. And if you do any kind of uh, uh, projects where you recycle all the things, I would love to see it. So tag me. Um, and uh, and thanks for thanks for joining me. Have a good day. Bye bye.